Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Thiru's Aspirations. It's been a month, I have not uploaded any video, I had many schedules, so again I have restarted doing the videos, year afterwards I will be regular and continuously I will be putting videos about CBSC Mathematics. The people who are new to my channel, hi, this is Chiranjivi, I am a Max teacher. So, we have seen many chapters, CBSC 10th standard, like real numbers, polynomials, and we are in the chapter on the process of linear equations, that is pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay, already we have done many things, that is introduction to pair of linear equations, then the algebraic methods like substitution method, cross multiplication method, elimination method, all these things. If you need all those things, just go to the description and click the link, you'll be getting those videos. And here, today we are going to see the word problems with respect to pair of linear equations in two variables. Generally, students feel something different or difficult about the word problems. So, actually word problems are easy, but the correct approach we need. If we have the correct approach towards the word problems, then everything is going to be easy. So today, these word problems with respect to pair of linear equations into variables, I'll be dividing into many videos, many concepts. So today, intensively, we'll be discussing about two types of word problems, that is age-based problems and also the digit-based problems. There are certain problems, word problems based on digits. Uh, so that one we'll be discussing in today's video. Okay, let's go to the video and if you people are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. We'll have a great journey of mathematics. I'll be coming up with many mathematical concepts and later on fascinating science concepts also. So you can subscribe and click the bell icon and now we'll go to the video. So we have seen what is linear equation, what is the polynomial. So how to solve a linear equation by different methods. We also did graphical methods also. So today we are going to see the word problems based on age-based problems. So here we take age-based problem. So generally these types of problems what happens? They give a condition such a way that they are discussing about the ages of two persons and we need to find the ages. Okay. So any age based problem, not only in the CBSE board exam, any competitive exam, you will be handling the problem, word problem, age based. I'll be, have, I'll be telling you some simple tips how to handle or how to attack such problems. So here age based problems, generally the question uh, comes like, okay, there was a person and seven years ago, seven times the other person, such situations they'll be given simply three things you should keep in the mind whenever it is age based problem first thing is whatever may be the problem if you take into the abstract concept so first step what you are going to do with respect to age based problem is yes let the present age so we are focusing on the present age right so let the present age of first person it may be father mother friend whatever may be the first person be x take a variable x then we can obviously convert that into a linear equation and solve by using any one of the methods what i have done in the previous videos so let the present age of first person be x same thing let the present age of second person be y so this is the first step you are going to do whatever may be the age based problem First, let the present age of the first person be x and let the present age of the second person be y. So, this is the first step we are going to do. Now, whatever the age, let me take some time, that is a number of years. So, this is a number of years and b number of years in the future. This is past. So let me tell a person, a particular person, seven years ago. Ago means seven is 
past we are speaking about, right? Then what we are going to do? We have some present age, and if we go to past, what happens? We are going to subtract the number of years, right? Same thing we'll be doing. So the first person present age I have taken as x. The first page, uh, the per first person age before five years or ten years, whatever way, I am taking a years. So before a years, what's going to happen? Simple, it's nothing but x minus a, right? X is the present age, and a is the number of years we are going back past. So a number in the problem it may take any number, five years, ten years, etc. So here x is the present age, and a is the number of years going past. So I am going to subtract how many years I am going past. That is x minus a. Similarly, x years ago past, we are taking the second person. That is y. So y minus a. Right? Are you getting it? Yes. So this is x minus a, and this is y minus a. First person and second person. A years ago. Now coming to b years in the future. After three years or after ten years, what is going to happen? Now we have our present age, and we are going forward, which means in the future. So we are going to add up the years, right? So here, with respect to this, with b years, so x plus b, and for second person it is y plus b. So this is the condition. Understood? The first step we focus on the age-based problem is first we need to take let the present age of the first person be x. And let the percentage of the second person be x and y. We need to take that, and then we are going to take this y number of years. And going back, we are going to subtract. Going forward in the future, we are going to add. This is the second step we need to do. The third step lies on the question: What type of things they are going to give? What condition they are going to give in the question? Based on that, we are going to take. The third. One. For example, the first person's age was seven times the second person age. Okay. If the question is like this, the first person's age is seven times second person's age five years ago. So if this is the condition, for example, here the first person's age is seven times second person's age five years ago. Ago means past. So we need to subtract. So first person, if I take x, and second person, if I take y, what's going to happen? So five years ago, here a takes the value five, right? Number of years. So a takes the value five. So a is equal to five. So what I'm going to do here? I'm going to take x minus five. This is x is the present age. I'm going five years back, so x minus y. This is the age of the first person, right? That will be equal to seven times second person's age. What is the second person's age? Second person's age is y minus five, right? Both are going five years back, right? So y minus five. How many times? Seven times. So seven into y minus five. So we'll be having x minus five. That is equal to seven into y is seven y. Plus into minus minus. 7 y is a 35. So bring all the x and y one side. So x 7 y it comes this side becomes minus 7 y. That is equal to minus 35 plus 5. This minus 5 it goes this side becomes plus 5. So x minus 7 y is equal to minus 30. X minus 7 y plus 30 is equal to 0. See based on some condition we arrived doing some linear equation. So based on the condition. We derived an equation that is linear equation. Again, there is another condition. If we take that condition also, we'll be getting another equation, and we'll start solving it by using any one of the method like elimination method or substitution method or cross multiplication method, any method. So we'll be getting the answer, and we'll be getting the respective present ages of the person. So this is the criteria of solving age-based problem. Okay. I hope you people are understanding. Let me revise this quickly. Whatever the age-based problem they give, first you should take x and y. Present age of the first person is x, and present age of the second person is y. And now a takes the value of years. How many years they are going back? How many years they are going forward? So here then we need to subtract. If we go back, 
previous so then we need to subtract the number of years if you go forward in the future we need to add the number of years so this is this will be the present age sorry x and y will be the present age and uh, the number of years back whatever the number we are taking so that age will be this one and the future age will be this one and taking that according to the condition what they have been given in the question so we need to make that and we will finally get a linear equation pair of linear equation and we can start solving i would be getting the x and y value that is nothing but the ages of first person and the second person this is how we are going to solve age based problems let us directly go for a problem now in this problem it is a age based problem just look at the problem read carefully after tells his daughter 7 years ago i was 7 times as old as you were then which means here after was telling to his daughter what is telling 7 years ago they are going 7 years past 7 years ago i was 7 times as old as you so after was 7 times as old as his daughter 7 years ago not the present they are speaking about 7 years ago 7 years past also 3 years from now this is the second condition given okay also 3 years from now means 3 years in the future so from the present we are going to consider 3 years in the future so 3 years from now i shall be 3 times as old as you now the second condition after the study that uh, tell it to his daughter that so he shall be 3 times as old as you which means daughter will be find the present age of the after and his daughter now the, they have given the condition we need to find the present ages or uh, age of after and daughter so as i said initially to attack this type of problems what we are going to do the first condition yes we are going to take for the solution let the age of let me take the present age let the present age of after and his daughter be x and y okay so the present age of after was x and the present age of his daughter is y right we have taken like this now what is the second condition here they are telling 7 years ago right this is 7 years ago he was Seven times as old as you were then. You represents daughter here, right? Yes. So now, before going to this seven times condition, let us go seven years ago. They are speaking seven years ago, right? Okay. So what happens? Seven years ago, the age of Afta. What happens? Present age is x, and seven years ago it becomes x minus seven, right? So let me take together the age of Asta and daughter is x minus seven is the age seven years ago age of Asta and daughter is y minus seven because daughter present age is seven, right? It is y minus seven. Okay, so here seven years ago I am taking the age of after this seven year we are subtracting we are getting x minus seven and y minus seven the second person that is the daughter. Now the third step what we are going to do we are going to see the condition what's happening here here seven years ago we have seven times okay uh, wait a minute this is seven years ago right let us take another condition here are also three years from now which means. Three years from now, the age of after when daughter is what will be? It will be x plus three and y plus three. We are taking three years from now, right? So same thing will be three years from now. So after age will be x plus three and daughter's age will be y plus three. Now let us take the condition. They are given. I was seven times as old as daughter. So, 
after h before 7 years was x minus 7 x minus 7 so that will be equal to 7 times of dot of h which means y minus 7 i hope you people are understanding according to the condition so what happens to this this implies x minus 7 is equal to 7 into y is 7y plus into minus is minus 7 into 7 is 49 so solving this will be getting x I will be bringing the 7y to the side becomes minus 7y that is equal to minus 49 plus 7. So here what happens will be getting x minus 7y is equal to minus 42 we will be getting minus 49 plus 7 is 42 right. So now here what happens. Yes, this is the equation. This is the required equation we need, right? So, this is the required equation that is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. So, based on one condition, we got an equation. We will be taking another condition that is also 3 years from now, I shall be 3 times as old as you, which means here x plus 3 is nothing but 3 into y plus 3. So, 3 years from now we are taking this is the condition. So, 3 times, see, I shall be 3 times as old as you. Okay. So, here x plus 3 means 3 times the old of daughter from 3 years. So, that implies what we are going to get. x plus 3 is equal to 3 into y is 3y plus 9. Okay. That implies what happens to this. So, we will be getting x minus 3y. Directly I am going to write x minus 3y. Where this plus 3 goes this it becomes minus 3. That is 9 minus 3 is 6. That is equal to 6. So we have got two equations. So one equation is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. Another equation is x minus 3y is equal to 6. Right. Now what we are going to do. We are going to solve these two equations by the method of elimination. So by the method of elimination if you consider x minus 7y is equal to minus 42 x minus 3y is equal to 6 now I am going to subtracting these two equations so what we are going to get by subtracting I am going to change the sign here we have plus minus here minus plus and here plus we have minus right these both things gets cancelled plus x and minus x here one is minus other is plus now in the second, after subtracting, we need to consider this sign, not this sign. So minus 7y plus 3y, greater number sign minus, 7 minus 3 is 4. So 4y minus is equal to, both we have minus sign, so we are going to add it. So minus 42 plus 6 is 48. Right. Now what we are going to do, I am going to find the y. y is equal to minus 48 by minus 4. Minus minus gets cancelled for 1s, for 1s, for 2s. So, y is equal to 12, which means initially what were, uh, what were our assumption? Let the percentage of after when is daughter be x and y, which means y is the age of daughter, right? Y is the age of daughter, right? So, 12 years is the age of Aftab's daughter. Now, let us find x value so that we will find the age of Aftab, the percent age of Aftab. So, just take any one of the equation like x minus 3y is equal to 6, just substitute the y value. So, x minus 3 into 12 is equal to 6. x minus 3 12s are 36 that is equal to 6 and x is equal to 6 plus minus 36 it goes that's it because plus 36. So, x is equal to 42. So, from this what were our conclusion? So, h of Aptar is 42. So, overall conclusion here therefore, the present age of Aftar and his daughter is 42 and 12 years. This is the percentage. How beautiful is this? By taking the condition, we first deduce it into an equation, linear equation. 
these conditions taking the 7 into y minus 7 should be very careful. I have already given the insight of how we are going to handle such type of problems. So, if this is okay and everything is simple as we have done earlier. Okay, so these two equations uh, deducing this is very important. After doing this, yes, we can solve it and find the x and y value. Don't leave as it is. The question is there as just to find the h, not just to solve a linear equation. After solving it, again you need to write the conclusion. Therefore, the present age of after when his daughter is 42 and 12 years, which means after it is 42, and his daughter age is 12 years. I hope you people understood and enjoyed the problem. Yes, this way any condition, all are similar. You are going to subtract the past years and you are going to add the future years. Only one thing you should be very careful is analyze the condition 7 times or 5 times or sometimes they can give this is 7 times and this is 2 times like that. You should be very careful about those conditions and you can solve this. This way we can solve linear equations word problems that is age based problems. I hope you enjoyed this problem. In the coming videos I will be coming up with the methods of solving a word problem that is we will be discussing about digit based word problems how to handle that and by the time if you like this video like it share it and comment don't forget to subscribe to this channel we will have a great journey of mathematics please support me so that i will get encouragement in doing more videos and i will work on more content to deliver you thank you have a nice mathematical time bye